Hello and welcome back to Roy's the Boy. Now this is the first video I've probably done in a, I don't know, it was a week, three days, something like that, uh, until my last, I did a little vlog. So anyway, today's video is going to be about this 5.5k uh, KVA, uh, very large generator. Someone, uh, they said that it got tipped up on its side, uh, or on its back, or something like that, and it won't start. The battery's dead. Uh, I've tried jump starting it the other day and it wasn't having it, so let's go and see if we can sort it. Right, okay, this is the beast. This is the machine, it's a clock power uh, FG5100. Uh, Electric start, 12 volt battery, fair old size starter mount, but you can see where the where it's been tipped up or off. Off, I don't know what's happened with these engine mounts, um, but he uh, he doesn't want them replaced, so I ain't gonna do those. He doesn't want them fixed. Do you see? Anyway, big old 13 horsepower engine. Just show, showing you around it here. This is a carburetor system. Big old air filter. So let's go and get it fixed. All right, okay. First, we start off taking this air filter box off. Yeah, this thing's pretty clean. Filter, yeah, that ain't too bad, really. Okay, let's take. comes off here what it looks like four pins that's it and two bolts there to take off push this breather pipe up okay let's go and sort it right, okay first we do is, is take this air box off to get the carburetor loose but I've got to take this breather pipe out to get to the oh to the 10 mil nuts I think they're tens they might even be eights no they're tens that's not gonna go let's get this breather pipe out oh this is terrible this ain't good Right, let's see if I can get it in there now. Let's move this handle. That's it. And it should come out. There's another bolt underneath. Oh, it's on the inside. Right, we'll take this off and uh, come back to you. Taking that off now, this part here, this when I pull that, this grommet should be sitting in there because that's for the choke. And for some reason, it seems bent and it and it's not sitting correctly. Because if you look on the uh, the, the choke there, that's off choke and that's on, but that grommet should be sitting up there like that and it's not it won't go in properly let's take this off in case I lose that but what I'm going to do is when you do it if you're going to do this sort of thing yourself take pictures of uh, where you think parts are go uh, so you can always look back in case uh, anything's broken so I'm going to take some pictures just remind me later just in case I forget 
Right. First of all, I'm going to do before I try anything because it, I'm trying to fit this this part on, um, and it, something's not sitting right on it. Seems bent, so I'm going to clamp this fuel or this air hose off. Or fuel hose and then uh, we'll sort it out. Right, I'm just taking this rubber off a minute. And that right, so that there should be sitting. Clamp onto there. Sorry about that moving that because that was the um right, so that goes into there like that. That goes into there like that. And so and that should be now. If I pull on that, it's not doing the job of shifting that. Bringing this choke over like that. That's what it should be doing, and it ain't. So I need to sort that out. Okay. Right, I seem to have sorted the choke problem out. Um, if I put that on there, what it was, hopefully you can see this bar. No, you can't because it's um, it's so far underneath. Let's bring this in forward. The tank's in the way. You know, can you see it there now? Right, yep. This bar here, when my finger is there, that was inside of this rod here. But so if I pull it now what it does it that's it pushes that way and it pulls that clamp but this keeps coming out but it's actually moved the choke there and forward and backwards so it's working now anyway it's a bit awkward inside here i can't put this on the bench because it's so blinking heavy it'll take three four people just to lift it up. All right, so we'll slide this uh, carburetor off now. What I have done, I'll give that a little twist to take off this uh, fuel hose. That's it. Oh, look at the state of that cut fuel. Fuel don't look too good. It's a bit yellow. That was okay. Take that off. You've got a little uh, clip there. We'll take this governor arm off. That comes off there, and then give that a twist with that spring, which should just come off there, and then. I, that's the car better off, but on the underneath as well. Oh, look at that. I don't want to tip that out, I want to have a look at that fuel. Right. I've got to, um, I'm going to go and get a bowl, empty this fuel in, and I've got to take this electrical wire off. Well, I've just emptied some fuel out of this uh, car better. Now, this is a clear, this was a clean glass. I mean, if you look at that, let's put that there. Look at the colour and the state of that. So hopefully, this is all that's going to be the problem. So we'll see that. I'll have to drain out the uh, fuel tank. It has got a fuel, uh, a full tank of stuff inside it. So I'm going to have to drain all that out, and hopefully, it's going to be the problem. All right, okay, I've got this off. Um, I've had to ruin one of the screws for this because uh, it had a spring washer in it and it just wouldn't uh, come off. And it's got like a, some sort of electronic pin uh, which pulsates in and out. But to get this float off, uh, this is a new one on me. Uh, I think it should be this nut to come off and to take this bow off. So we're just going to get a socket and take this off. 
Well, it was this nut. It was actually a full team, believe it or not. So we'll take this off. Let's go inside there. This looks like a jet, really. And... Well, I can't see any clear view through that jet, so... Yeah, you can see if you can get it right up close. It does look clogged to me and blocked. The inside of that's not too bad. Uh, we'll take this. Yep, the float seems to work. The rubber seems alright. Uh, there is another jet where you can see if you can see inside there on this side of it there is a lot of gunk inside yeah there's loads of gunk inside that so hopefully this is just going to be a carburetor clean oh, I have loosened the jet on it there we go that's that okay let's have a look at this are oh, those three one let's go a bit closer all right one two three there's four holes there that little one there seems a little bit clogged that one there is empty that one's empty that's that one's got some stuff in it so is that one so we're going to give those a nice clean and let's have a look inside that right, there is a hole for it but it is clogged up with rubbish so we're just going to get a bowl and uh, give those a clean alright what I've did this little rubber o-ring I took it off of there just just to clean this up because um, I didn't want to take a chance because uh, when you're using carb cleaner it can ruin some rubbers so give that a cleaning there just give those just let those soak a bit Get a good spray and then let them soak for a bit and I'll give them a blowout with the airline same as this just uh, give a spray of all the little holes that you can see even on the inside there That seems to be all right there. Give the carb a clean while we're at it. That's it. All right, I'll go and blow these bits off and uh, get back to you. Right. One place I have, one place I have noticed as well on you get on a lot of these carburetors that you have got jet holes there literally in there's three little holes there and there's another one just there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give those a little spray it's coming out so I did think the uh, spray was coming out Let's just make sure there's no more on that side right all right okay everything has been cleaned out Got to watch this o-ring there so we start putting the uh, the jets back in uh, let's just uh, get that clean just give that a push all the way in and screw this one back in
that's it. Don't want to over tighten it because it's only um, brass, and you, you don't want to ruin the uh, the thread there at the top where you put the screwdriver into it, and we'll get this float back in. Okay, so I'm shaking the camera in it. Should be that in there, and then we'll put this back on. Yeah, I think what I should have done is took a. I'm going to look back on my um, video just for a second, uh, just to make sure I've got this bowl around the right way. Okay, I've put the rubber O-ring back onto there, and we'll screw this back in. What I think I'm going to have to do um, is, I don't know if that, the colour of that oil, that fuel is because some sort of oil has got into it, probably from the gearbox, I don't know, but I can't see that. But I think I'm going to have to um, drain the actual fuel tank out, and it's got a full tank of fuel in it, which is quite a lot. So, let's tighten this up, and then... Uh, we can get this back on in a minute. Right, okay, we're gonna start putting this thing back together now. All the fuel tank has been uh, taken out of all the old contaminated fuel and I've, I've flushed it out as well. I've just hammered back the legs on the uh, generator just to keep it level, as level as I could. So, we'll start putting this in. You put the governor arm in first and then no nope. so like it was a spring first that's it and then the governor arm that's it Uh, fuel hose back on whilst we can that's it just wonder if I've got that band on so that'd be right there tighten it up So even I can make uh, mistakes. I actually forgot to put this um, little bit back on, which goes into there with two screws. First, I'll do a need tightening up just so it sits right. Uh, this screw is a bit buggered, so I'm hoping I'm gonna do it nice and slowly. Hopefully, it make it it won't make it any worse. These will. I think he's. That's it. Right. Let's take this again. around it, get that cover on there, back on it, oh it come out again, okay, 
Well, let's get the arm in first then. That's a bit easier. Pin that round. And back under there. Okay. Okay, we've got to put this bracket back on now. Uh, got a little slot there which is for that to sit in so first of all I have to make sure as well that I've got this sitting that way right, so that goes on that way that's it This bit here with that little clamp goes into there. So that sits onto there. So then when that's pushed into there like that, that is meant to pull. Right, so that's come out of it already. Have you noticed there? So that sits on there, so that means that needs to be bent down a bit. Because that there is meant to be under there like that. Okay, I'm going to get this on and come back to you. Right, okay, I figured it out. This bracket here wasn't on this bit here correctly, so but now if I do that, choke on, choke off. That's it. Okay, and then we get this other. Onto that. Right, before I do it anymore, I've got to get this little air hose. hose on there that's it yeah, even I forgot again and I forgot to put this breather which goes into there Oops, just sorry about that all right now we try and get this uh, air filter on but yeah uh, this breather hose goes into there which is a bit tight. Right, I'll put this on, come back. Okay, well, I've put that on there. That is all now tightened up. It was a bit difficult. It would have took too long to do it on camera. So, I'm gonna put this uh, air filter back on. That's it. stick some fuel in and what I'm going to do is all right every door's gone hang on one second all right okay I've hooked up jump leads uh, just to try and start this so I will pull the choke on well which is very nice and easy now and we'll see how this goes choke
now because their battery's dead so what we'll do we'll try and see if we can start it with the pull start No, that's not oh, hurt my hand. Right, let's go and have a look at the spark plug. Okay, let's try this again. that one sorted uh, that won't quite well in the end starts for a couple of times on the pole start and the electric start when it was uh, jumped with my other battery uh, I will charge the uh, battery up for him as well and yeah, I'm really happy that's quite a good one so what have I got in the future uh, what have I got next I've still got me McCulloch uh, restoration one as well me 1993 model I've got that to do and where else I've got a few services to do um, and that's about it really so anyway if you did like this uh, video uh, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the button and hit that little notification bell down the bottom so you're informed when I've done my next video so that's it all it is now for me on this one until next time cheerio